Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. Today I'm taking a look at from the Transformers Robots in Disguise line. This is Combiner Force One Step Blur. I was able to find this figure um, at my local Walgreens, and thankfully it was on sale, so I paid under $10 for it. Um, Blur, as you can see, if you're familiar with the show, is based on his Rescue Bots design. And this is a very interesting one step figure. Um, it's a new transformation scheme that I'm not really familiar with and it took me a couple days to figure out a way to do it where I didn't feel like I was breaking the figure. So to start what you want to do is come in here, um, split the front. This will start to bring up uh, the front end as well as the uh, bring the back section down. Then what you want to do is basically put your thumb uh, right about there while gra where mine is and then there's this bar section you want to just go ahead and grab that and as soon as the arms pop open you want to just switch back and then swing the legs back down. So there's a little gear switch system that will first bring everything in and then bring it back down all based around the legs. Next what you want to do is go ahead and flip the feet forward and uh, swing the arms out they are pegged into place and there you have blur in its robot mode. As you can see, Blur does have a peg hole, which a lot of these one-step changers from Combiner Force have added, as well as um, holes, five millimeter holes in the fist so they can hold the weapon. That's been there for quite a while and with many one-step changers, but it is nice to see that they've you know, kept the weaponizer uh, transformation uh, interactivity gimmick. Um, I kind of like Blur and I'll be very honest, I think this actually is probably the um, only figure of Blur we'll need. I mean, the character's name is Blur. He's supposed to be really fast. And what's faster than a one-step changer? To go back to vehicle mode, bring the arms back down, make sure they snap into place, flip the feet down, and then go ahead and bring the legs out. And pull this front end forward, which will then allow you to... Uh, Spring close the legs up again, and uh, the sides of the legs, right by the ankles, will peg into some tabs in the front. And there, you have the car mode. Really fun figure. Um, if you can get it for, uh, you know, under ten dollars, like I did, definitely worth a pickup. Um, and yeah, we'll see if how this gets used in the uh, last night line in terms of the the transformation buck. This is your old pal Chuck for Blur. We will see you next time.